Hello there, this is Malik and welcome to episode 33 of my Majors of Mistralia series. We are, we are getting pretty damn close to the end. Um, so, uh, we're, we're gonna see what, um, oh, that was, I thought that was a teleporter for some reason. My brain's just, yeah, let's, let's, let's not even think about my brain for a second. Um, yeah, we need to go to the actual, the actual teleporty thing, rather than just pretending that I know what I'm doing. That would be always useful. Yes. Yes. Where should you go? There. <clears throat> so it'd be interesting to... Oh, you know what? No, this is not where I wanted to go, actually. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is catch more ghosts. Because I wanted to finish that quest, didn't I? So I want to go to... Um, well, it'll be the Highlands. Um, and then I need to head east. To the like the graveyardy bit or that area. There's like there's like some ghosts I need to catch for the bottle. Um, that's that's what I need to do. That's that's what I need to do. I actually can't for the life of me remember what I'm doing or where I need to go to do these things. Oh, so I, I still need to get that. Like, oh, actually a very good point when it comes to it. I'm still just trying to, I think you just drop down, but that's that's my current theory anyway. Um, because I, I, I haven't gained any more abilities since the last time. Um, okay, right. Uh, so if I go to, what, my inventory. Inventory would be a good idea. So I've got Bottle for Spirits. Three Spirits. Now I seem to remember that there was, um... I got the spirit in the Highlands somewhere, didn't I? I'm trying to remember now. It will get to the point where I've 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 had because I've had quite a break. I had a um quite a lot of um episodes recorded in a row, like five or something, six. I I, I don't even remember now. There was a lot. Let's just put it that way. There was a lot, and um and so I've not actually uh played the game in in like well over a month so my memory of the specific details about specific quests isn't that great not that it was particularly great anyway I'm, I'm not gonna lie so one of them's immune to ow So I think there were there was a tombstone, and it was kind of up to the left of here that I found. Um, and I think it was it was basically that, wasn't it? Is there actually a journal? I don't think there is actually a journal, is there? I think it was very much a case of yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's just general descriptions of, of things. I don't think any of these are particularly pertinent to that particular quest. Come on, because I can... All we've got is the spirit thing. Um, I'm just going to change the wand so that it ignores fire resistance. Since fire seems to be what I've defaulted to, likes what I always default to, so I can't get up there. Yeah, because I'm sure the first grave was somewhere around here, the first, and I got the spirit out of it. I, somewhere down here. Oh, I'm frozen. Jeez, I'm rusty. Oh, 
Yeah, there was... This particular spell build thing is uh, rather powerful. The thing is, the grave that I'm looking for may very well have kind of disappeared because I got it. I'm just really coming this way. Partly because you never know, there might be other graves here that are good. So I might get to see it and remember what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. You see, up oh, there's the drop down bit, but I still don't think it's a drop down thing. I don't know what it is, but either way, obviously this is not the way. I think it's already cooking. Maybe if I go talk to the guy again. Because he's somewhere in the main sort of city. Oh, he's near the dock, so is he down here? No, he's not down here because this is a different kind of area. I'll remember everything eventually. I mean, maybe. So. I'm going to go and find the necromancer. Talk to him. See if he jogs my memory as to where I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be looking for. Because it was definitely said in chat. And it's like, the moment I read it, I read the comment, and it was kind of like, oh yeah, it, it is. It is to do with, with the necromancer guy. Um, I, think it's, I think it might be further in. Because this is like the outskirts of the city. So, let's keep going. We might actually be down there, but we'll see if we can get down there anyway. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey, buddy. Can you remind me what I'm supposed to be doing? Let's put it in the valley. Yeah, he's not giving me much information. I might just very, very quickly look it up. Maybe. I see you notice my stash. I collected many magical trinkets during my investigation. Oh, might be interested in the scarab. I can sell it if you want. I mean, I can't remember what scarabs do, but yes, I'll I'll have it. Oh, I think it's a case of um, ah yeah, yeah, yeah. If ever you fall in combat, yeah, that was it. See spirits in the valley. At the heart of the valley, the highland, blah, blah, blah. So it kind of suggests that the highlands is is where to go to find them. I'm gonna have a little look, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna do that thing because, you know, might as well. Necromancer quest spirit locations, I guess. Um. I don't want to get. You know, I'm not. I'm not a massively spoilery person, but it is one of those things where I like to at least have a, a vague idea of what I'm doing and where I'm supposed to be going to find them. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of right when I was saying that they were kind of where it was. Um. The only problem is, back in the day, when you used to do Googling for things, and, um, I mean, I really should have done this while not recording, but hey, you know, um, 
you used to get proper nice little maps. Now all you get is videos showing you where things are. And it's like, well, I don't want to watch a a 20 minute video that at some point during the video they find maybe one or two or maybe you get lucky in all three spirits in this, you know, example. Um, and that's the problem. Videos are just, people are obsessed with videos now because you can, I guess you can more easily monetize a video than, than, a, than and it's maybe less work because it's fun, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes you can find good things. Um, necro, ghosts on the loose. First goes to the north. Oh my god, it's 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 verbiage. I've got verbiage. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is um so the first goes go to the north graveyard, key door, follow the road west, after the bridge comes here, goblin camp, underneath stairs is a statue. That's what I've that's what I've got. Um And then the second ghost. When Greyleaf was burnt down, a door at the small graveyard is destroyed. Oh, Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do then... I'm gonna go and do that. I don't know what the reward for this is, I'm not gonna look it up. But all I know is that in the graveyard of Greyleaf Hamlet, there's another ghost. Another spoopy boy. And I'm gonna go and put that spoopy boy to rest forever. Because that's what, you know, putting to the rest is. It's, it's not a bad thing. I think, generally speaking, all spirits and ghosts aren't really ab about for, uh, by their own choice, for the most part, anyway. I guess you could get those vengeful spirits that are... They're like, you murdered me and my family, I'm going to avenge my wife and by cursing you and never resting even in death and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? That kind of... that kind of thing. Um... So technically, I am actually in the Highlands now. So, actually, I don't need to um, to do that. So, this isn't Graveleaf Hamlet. No, it is just it is just a little farm outside the city limits. Let's cross this bridge. Bridge. Let's the rise. Well, let's go to the rise because I think then we have to go sort of south from the rise to get to the Greyleaf thing. Stuff. Where even am I? I'm in the rise now. Oh no, I need to go back into the highland. I, the highland seems awfully sh short for what I remember it to be. You can really tell that I haven't actually played for a while. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I need to go south from here somewhere. Go away. <laughs> That's what's right the rise, Greyleaf Hamlet. Okay, so I am I'm in the right path eventually. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid gods. Ah, coffee. My only friend. <laughs> <laughs> you love me, coffee. Coffee does still love me. Even if my back doesn't. And my shoulder. And my digestive system. I'm just kind of generally falling apart at this at this point. Um I think probably I can Ah no, it, it is to the right and then round and yeah. Let's get past that blockage. And then I think the graveyard is sort of up and to the left-ish. I think you can get it from, get the mistral water, oh, yeah. hang on, there's something I can blow up, I can blow it up, but there's nothing in there, I guess there, oh there was something in there, but it's kind of repaired the door, <laughs> who's, who's half repaired a door, 
It seems like an unnecessary use of time. Okay, so... Apparently in here somewhere, so I'm looking for a grave that I can highlight. Ooh, this looks suspicious. Oh, there's a pit. <laughs> I just annihilated it. <laughs> Lol. Okay. That was, um, I think I may be a little bit further along. Um, yeah. I think I was a little bit further along in the game than it expects you to be for this particular quest. Okay, so now I need to head kind of to the lava grotto, but not quite. I think I can teleport with this little portal stone, can't I? No, I see. It's not actually a, a thing. So if I just head... If I go north, will that just take me to the highlands? The thing is, this I feel like north isn't, isn't really quite... Right, I'm gonna head back where I was. But yeah, this, this thing is, um... This wand is a bit, this spell I mean, is a bit beastly, combined with this wand that just removes resistances. I assume it doesn't remove immunities, or maybe it turns immunities into resistances. I don't know. I mean, I could just kind of look. Um, while ignoring fire resistance. I mean... That suggests that an immunity, assuming that it counts an immunity... Why at this late stage of the game am I only just starting to ask these questions? I feel like maybe I should have asked these questions a long time ago. Let's go to the highlands and then teleport over to the rise and then... Go from there, I guess. And then we can go back to the necromancer and see what present he has for me. Because I'm assuming I'm gonna get something good. If it's if it's like 50 green slime, then I'm gonna be unhappy. Oh, I've gotta take out these idiots. Again. Yeah, I'm way OP for these guys. Womp womp for them, I guess. They should really be just looking out behind them, trying to defeat. I'm gonna wait for my mana to charge up. It's it's a good spell, but it's a little bit taxing. You know? There we go. So, now we're gonna use this. Yes, please. We're gonna go over to there. Whee! This time, so I could have gone this way, but you know, originally, and 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 it wouldn't have been uh, a waste of my time. So the lava grotto is probably north up this way, then. Yeah, you jumped out on the wrong person, dude. Yeah, I'd forgotten that this, um, this ledge is really annoying. Probably not the best, um, spell to be using under the circumstances. But, eh, I can make them, I can ignore fire resistance. I could always do some science! Um, but either way. Really? Obviously that doesn't work. Why would I have ever known to do this? That's crazy. Apparently it's over here. How would I have ever known? 
Oh, hang on. How, how would I have ever known to do that? Wow. I mean, I'm not complaining. But that's interesting. Wow, I guess you probably see this on the, if you're walking on the bottom, I'm guessing this appears on screen. I would have never found this, I don't think. I don't think I would have ever found it. That's... Yeah. That, that's a lot. That's... Yeah. Huzzah! Okay, let's go back to the Necromancer. Whee! <laughs> I mean... Yeah, this, this, this thing is, is crazy. I'm gonna see if you can kind of see up there. Um... <laughs> yeah, that was, uh... If you walk along here, you would, yeah, you would... Ugh. What the hell? Oh, I hate... Easy things. But yeah, it that was the ledge that was below the ledge I was on. So actually from here you cannot see. Oh, there's the ledge right at the top of the screen. Yeah, there's no way I would have seen that. You have to just know it's there. You just have to know it's there. Hmm, that's that's a bit rude. No, I'm, I'm out. I'm beginning to think there might be like a super secret sideway to get the other thing. You know, the final mana flower thing. Maybe there's a super secret way of doing that. I don't know. Because it just seems like it's really difficult to get to, if not impossible. Well, not, not impossible. I doubt very much that it's actually impossible. Um... But, you know, when things feel really difficult and you just can't see a solution, your immediate thought is to be like, yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> but it's no, it's just, it's... Maybe there is that sort of secret way that you just have to kind of know it, almost. I guess whenever you see lava, you should just build stone bridges across it and risk your life and limb. <laughs> Job done. Risk life and limb for scant rewards. The problem you've got, let me look at this again logically, it does not appear... I'm just trying to think, because we do have a teleport thing, but it only teleports the effect of a spell. So unless there is some way of making a... Because I don't think there even is a self-teleport. Is there? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want it, though. You know when you... You know when you kind of want completion. Am I? Completion. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I might have to look that one up, but I really care, but I just, I'm really stumped as to how to get there. Like, I couldn't figure out how to make a self-teleport. The dashing thing doesn't really work. There's no way of, like, jumping. Is there, like, if I set fire to the hay bales, the door will open and... Do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to think what... There's no way of getting up there, and even if you could, dropping down there is kind of like blockages, but... So the only thing I can think of is, is, is there a way of getting on top of that cliff that we just cannot see right now? And then dropping onto the roof, then dropping in front of the barn. That's, that's the thing, is, is I don't know. I don't know! Eating all the slime. Delicious, delicious slime. I think I might just have another circle around again up through the graveyard way. 
and just see if I can spot something. But Necromancer first. Let's get the Necromancer done. And then next episode, I will have a little look and see if I can find that last flower solution myself. If not, I think I'm just going to look it up. It's one of those things where it's like, you know what? Yeah. If I can't figure it out, then there's no point just going without. That's almost a rhyme. I'm sure I can shorten it a little bit and make that a rhyme. You seem to have done it! I can't feel their presence anymore! So there's a disaster averted? What disaster? The spirits can't leave their tombs by themselves. What? You seem to have become a nuisance if left alone. Oh, did I say that? Well, you got it moving in. Close off one thing on my list. I didn't have to do all of that. Alright, don't get mad. Here, take this, thanks. It was left at our settlements as a sign of peace between mages and necromancers long ago. What did I what have I got? Oh, a weird What the hell is that? Afterlife elixir. So there's maximum health and maximum both permanently increased. Awesome! So I'm just that's a that's a really good buff. That's a great buff. Cool, what a good way to end the episode. It is, and because that is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, you know what, we're, we're going to do a little bit of mopping up, just a tiny bit of mopping up next episode, but I think then the one after that is just going to be, maybe, is that the final boss though? Is, is this the final boss? Kind of feels a bit boss-like, but the Dark Tower itself, the Dark Tower itself may very well be a, a, a whole level that takes me, uh, um, you know, more than more than just a, a little bit of an episode to get through. So we'll see. We'll see. It certainly looks like, at a glance at the the description, it does seem like it's going to be a full on location. And at the end, there's going to be a boss. I guess we will have to wait and see. But until that time, um, I bid you all farewell, and of course, cheerio.